Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to some more VGC. So today we're going to continue using the Life Orb Spectria team with the Choice Specs, Aleki, Sash Urshi, uh, Water Urshpoo, Lumberry Landorus, Scopelands, Togekiss, which I don't think we featured at all in the last episode, and Citrus Berry, Incineroar. Uh, no idea what's happened to my voice today. Uh, just literally as I sat down, my voice has just decided it doesn't want to borrow it. Uh, okay, so we have this Reggie Drago team. I'm pretty sure I've seen Aaron Zane using it. Um... Tokus could be good here. In fact, it could be very good. Uh, helps out with a Garchomp. Uh, okay, what do I think my opponent leads here? Grimmsnarl or Torn or maybe both. We're actually going to lead the Tokus, I think. Uh, okay, I like I like uh, Tokus in Sin lead. We definitely bring Spec in the back. Sorry if my mic just peaked when I did that. I'm trying to like talk louder to clear my throat, but it's obviously not working. Uh, okay, I think they definitely bring Marowak. Aleki is just not that good, unfortunately, here. I mean, outside of the um, Stellar Stealer. Uh, let me bring Urshi. Yep. Yeah, I, I watched him play with this team like a week ago or two weeks ago, how long it's been. And I stopped watching when he just like kept critting his opponent. He's like, oh look, I won. I'm like, oh great. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's high. Sometimes it's very hard to watch him, I think. But maybe that's just me. Alright, what do we got? Cream style plus Stella still. Okay. It's a pretty solid lead from our opponent here, I think. Okay, we do get an Intimidate off. I don't remember what set this Celestealer is. Ah, uh, we don't have Yawn, damn it. Uh, okay. I wonder if uh, Crit Dazzling Gleam KO is this. We actually really need this Toad Kiss now, think about it. Oh, right, I really just have nothing for the Celesteel, huh? I guess we just blitz it. Uh, yeah, I can't remember if it's like AV, Selly. Uh, it might be actually, now I think about it. Okay, they're maxing the Celesteel, which is kind of what I expected. Um, hence why I didn't want to keep the Tokus in, just because... Although it's kind of interesting that they're going for this, unless it's fake out into the Tokia slot. Uh, in case I had Yawn. Well, anyway. I guess I just... Make that instant. Okay. Airstream. Okay. Not a great turn, but... I mean, they lose their max. As it, sorry, I should say, they lose one turn of max. They don't pick up a KO with Celesteel, which is important. Uh, detecting isn't going to help us. Are we timid? Sorry, jolly max speed. Because from memory, that Celesteel didn't have a lot of speed in it. Who did this? Well, that Grim Style has some speed in it. Okay, never mind. It makes sense because I want to get a KO with Celesteela. Okay, it's still faster than uh, Urshifu, which is surprising. Which means it's running almost max speed. Oh, okay, I really obviously don't remember much about this team at all. Hmm. Should be special attack, I think. Yep. That's a crit. Yeah. That'll put us- <laughs> take so much recoil from that too. Oh my goodness. Uh, the problem is I don't know if a uh, max ghost from Spectre is a KO. 
I should really have opened up a calc. Oh well. Uh, I might do that between games. And now we're just going to play it like it is. Uh... I'm just wondering... I just don't want them airstreaming, that's all. I think I, I feel like you do airstream here. I just gotta hope this KOs. My, my problem is if they go for airstream and go for light screen and then the taunt's kind of pointless. Which in that case, I just blitz, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm just afraid of trick on this Grim Snarl because they just have so much in the back. Um, maybe it was better I didn't max the Spectral and save the max for Togekiss. Mm. But let's see. I guess the other thing they could do here is just, uh, okay, they have Scary Face, okay. Uh, they do Airstream, so hopefully we live one. Okay, at least we live one. Uh, okay. So the Scary Face Fake Out. Oh, because of the Scary Face. Okay, I'm like, why is my Incineroar faster? Uh, okay, it's fine, I guess. That, that literally 50% to a Grim Snarl is not very effective. Jesus Christ. Problem is, uh, Grim Snarl can now just go for a... Uh, either a scary face or probably more likely a spirit break into the Spectrio. It's Garchomp. Ah, that's bad. Because Garchomp just gets to EQ here. So you spirit break and you EQ. Uh, I think this is my best play. Unfortunately, I think it's very obvious. Um, so what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping my opponent does is Spirit Break with the uh, Grim Snarl into the Spectrior and then Earthquake. Okay. Oh, well, they just. I could have just parting shot it. Ah, god damn it. Uh, okay, let's think about this logically. Would they have brought the Marowak? Alright, screw it. Oh, I can just follow me. Hang on. I should live in Earthquake, right? Uh, Max Strike? Follow me. Oh, it's Marowak, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's why I shouldn't have Max Striked. Oh, it's Torn. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Spirit Break, that's, yep. That was absolutely nothing. Is it Gotcha Bandit? Okay. That Max Strike did nothing to that uh, Torn. Okay. Uh, Shadow Ball. Torn. Just Dazzle. They could Tailwind here, but I don't really see the point. And unless they Scary Face, Togekiss is fast and everything. Swagger. God bless, dude. Okay. Toga Kiss, I'm gonna really need you to come in clutch, bud. They double airstream, didn't they? Okay. Man. Sorry about that. Ah. Uh, okay.
They were lucky. Okay, so they're banded. Thank. That's where I play. I feel like you have to KO the Togekiss here. Switching out Spectre or right? No. Switching out Togekiss, right? No. If we'd got that Dazzle off, we were home and free. I think. Ah, he connects the rock slide. Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. Twenty-five percent chance to lose the game. Great. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't know. I really don't know what else I'm supposed to do though. Okay. Yeah, there's no way we can win this. Mostly just due to the uh well, yeah, it's like we'd have to we'd have to dodge like eight rock slides. Uh errantly attacking movers, flare blitz. I saw banded. Why did it switch then? Hmm. Don't know. Yeah, I think uh, if we'd maxed the Togekiss, we would have been in a much better spot. But it's fine. Oh. Uh, Alright, I'll pause so we get another battle and I'll be right back. Alright, we have found an opposing trainer. Uh, also, I thought about this why the. Uh, Incineroar was faster than the Spectria when I was only at minus two, is because this is a modest Spectria. Uh, so it doesn't have nearly as much speed. Um, okay, we have Hard Trick Room. Lovely. Uh, okay, so Rangaroo gets Fake Out. And Ally Switch. Hmm. We could, in theory, lead Landorus Togekiss and go for Dazzling Gleam Earthquake. In theory. Or lead the Aleki and go for... The reason to lead the Landorus would be Stack Attacker. The reason to lead Aleki would be the Lapras. Go mm. Aleki. Or we could just cut the middleman and go for Urshi. Ah, uh, man. This is a very tough matchup. Like, I feel like we have to ring the Urshfu in case of... Yeah, whatever, fine. So I was saying, in case of Snorlax or Stack... It, it's good for Snorlax, Stack Attacker, and Lapras. So. We just don't bring the Incineroar, which has Taunt, but it's useless against the Hatterene because Hatterene has Magic Bounce. Oh, my voice is just really going, huh? <clears throat> Alright, what do we got? Okay. Hatterene plus Amoongus. So our opponent here could, in theory... Um... Oh, I should have really had this calc up. Okay, so choice specs. Modest, Hatterene. Electrowebs only doing 50%. Mm. Just go for it. They don't even spawn. Uh, they don't even rage powder, which is interesting. Right, we're gonna hope to crit this Dazzle. We didn't crit, did we? No. 
Uh, I think I... Maybe I did crit. Okay. Interesting. So I spore Aleki and discard for Trick Room, I assume. Okay. So we protect Turkis this turn. That's so interesting. Because in theory, I could have just max lightninged. Uh, okay, what else is Aleki good for here? Just Lapras. Okay, that's fine. If this uh, Amirgus has Pollen Puff, I'm in trouble, but... Ah, oh, it's Snorlax. I really wish I had Yawn. Ah, uh, okay. If you're my opponent, if you're my opponent, if you're my opponent, mm. do you rage powder here or you spore? You spore, right? Could max this Aleki. I really could. I'd have to be going off a 50 50 play. Not even 50 50, like 30%. I have no idea if I got that in on time. It's not here to focus, which is interesting. Alright. We're rolling the dice on a 33% chance, boys. I didn't expect them to switch Amoogus out. Seems weird to me. Anyway. Unless they're not maxing the Snorlax, like it might be... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Now we all know I don't get this, right? Like, I'm not that lucky. At least it's not Calstab Berry Snorlax. Oh. Oh, we woke up. Okay, that's huge. Seamus can activate the Figgy Berry, but still. Unfortunate. Hmm. What does Orin Guru do here? Are we adamant on the Landorus? Ah. Uh, but with no attack investment. Ah, uh, okay. I don't have time to do this calc. I don't think Aleki lives this turn, but... Yep. They don't even max, which is really interesting. Oh, they're gonna go for... So this is what I was thinking. I couldn't remember if uh, Instruct worked on Max, but I don't think it does. I assume later it dies to this. Yep. Great. Uh... So wild they would've just let me kill their Hatterene turn one. Like, so wild to me. Ok, 
Okay, I think they max this turn. Uh, do you? No, okay. Uh, okay. So they have a less than half health Snorlax, uh, a quarter health Hatterene, a full health Amoongus. So we really need this Togekiss to live, uh, sorry this uh, Urshifu to live, and Togekiss actually. Uh, okay. What do you do if you're them? You can't, you could max guard the Lax. Just trick room. All right, we're going for flinches, boys. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, you could also ally switch, I guess. Uh, I didn't think about ally switch. <sighs> Okay, what could I have done different? Just double into the uh, Oranguru. Yeah, I should have just doubled into the Oranguru. Damn it. Yeah. It was so obvious too. We're just gonna hope to get the flinch. Shit. Okay. Uh Yeah, we we can't win this. I guess in theory, right. Okay, let's say I doubled into the Duranguru. Amugus gets to come in. Um I probably could have just protected Turkus though. Amoongus comes in, it gets to do Amoongus things. But we still have a Togekiss. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I would have had to make such a hard return one. That's why I, I don't know. Seems oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm really annoyed about that play they made. It's just doesn't seem right. But whatever. I guess if I look at it from their perspective, you're looking at two Pokemon that are probably gonna do spread damage anyway. Uh so if you're fairly confident you live it. So I didn't really look at it from that perspective, so that's my bad. Uh, oh, I'll pause so we get another battle. Okay, that took ages to find somebody. Uh, okay. Pretty stock standard team, I guess. Um, Rillaboom, Aleki, Landorus, Urshi, Insin, and Tapu Fini. Hmm. I say standard, but I have no idea how to deal with it. <laughs> um, okay. Landorus lead is pretty solid here. Like, Landorus Oshiru seems good outside of the Rillaboom. So, what's my little man's though? Um, I think we definitely bring a Lecky. Do we? The Spectrial. It's in, yep. Probably we don't definitely bring a lackey. Okay, I was like, if it took me like two rounds of attempts to find an opponent and the game drops out, I'm gonna get real mad. Alright, we gotta think better in this game. We gotta 
try and predict what our opponent's going to predict us to do. Get inside their head. Okay, Urshifu Incineroar. Makes sense. It looks like the dark one, but that's also a 50-50 split, so... Okay, we get Intimidate off, which is huge. Uh, let's just make sure. Yep. You would assume they're not staying in. Uh, they don't really have an Airstream answer except for a Leckie, um, which they could very easily bring in. But, if they bring in the Aleki, they gotta catch these hands. So, also not switching. Oh, it might be Bandit with Poison Jab. Oh. But on the plus side, we get the Intimidate Whirlwind going. Uh, I assume Incineroar here is just gonna Parting Shot or Fake Out. Ideally, we see Fake Out. Um... Sort of interesting with uh, Urshifu staying in when you have two Pokemon that can airstream you, but they also could be sashed, so we'll see. Okay, so the first time maxing Tokus in like 12 months for me. Okay, fake out into the Tokus is perfect. Wicked blow into the Incineroar is also very good. Yes, this will crit, so the attack drops don't matter, but like, what is that? That's nothing. Insane absolutely takes us like a champ. I'm assuming Sash. Yep. But now we have Fake Out. So. Like our opponent's options here are very limited. In fact, I kind of want to Fake Out their Insane, as weird as that sounds, because we're now faster. Uh, that... Would you, you wouldn't switch out the Oshvi here, would you? I wouldn't think. You might just detect, though. Actually, I'd double the incense slot. Because I think they detect um, or switch. Tapu Fini. Okay, that's also fine. Um, but I'll, I think they parting shot. Like, mostly parting shot here. Okay. The fact that I almost kills is just ridiculous. Uh, I mean, obviously that's a crit, but if they're buried, they get the berry anyway. Yeah. Okay, they got all the berry health back. Uh, they should die to a non-crit, so I'm going to... Taunt the Feeny. Feeny could max heal, actually. And we didn't bring the Alecky. <laughs> no, dude. What do I have in the back? Spectre. Oh, God. Is that worth it? I feel like you max the Feeny, right? I'm going to taunt here so they can't parting shot and just airstream again. But this time airstream the Feeny. If they can't mind here, it is what it is. Okay, they don't can't mind. Oh, they don't max, I should say. But like... Yeah. We're, we're crit kiss. It makes sense for them not to max now that I think about it. Um, just because... You stole out my last one and max. You're... Almost certain you're not going to die. Um, and I was going to say you can't mind, but yeah, they don't. Yep, that's a parting shot. They are lefties on the Feeny. That makes sense. Uh, I know you saw the taunt did work out how he wanted it to, which is good. I'm going to Parting Shot on the Feeny and Dazzle. Gives up my Incineroar's attack, uh, sorry, speed boost, but yeah. 
Uh, I kind of assumed it was going to do something like this, so... I'm still okay with this. Oh, we didn't crit the incineral. This is BS, man. Leblitz? Yep. Makes sense. They live. I think that's good for us. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna Flare Blitz and Dazzle. I don't know if Flare Blitz kills, but we'll see. The other play, actually, what I should have done is Air Slashed. Instead of Dazzling. Hmm. Okay. Landorus. Uh, okay, so now you can max the Lando. Ah, uh, then I should have parting shot it. There you go. Just did fifty percent to their landers. Ah, crit kiss is so broken. Okay, so they have an Urshville at one HP. They have. Um, a Landorus at 50%, an Incineroar at like 10%. The Incin comes back in because now you can fake out the Togekiss and Max Airstream at Aishum or Rockfall. Uh, okay. You could also Max Quake the Lando. I uh, there's no way you Max Quake here. Uh, we parting shot Landorus and just protect. They don't max. Are they sword stancing? Oh, they're rock sliding. They're rock sliding. Okay. Uh, what they have in the back of Urshi? Okay. Lando. So that's two attack drops on their Lander, so even if they Sword Stance, they're back in neutral. Julio's. There's Rock Slide. Oh, good protect. That still is a solid chunk to our Lander, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Do we rock side? Yeah, 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 we rock side. You max your lander this turn. I think. No, wait, you, you have minus two. Yeah. My, what is your out? Like, it's non-existent. Because even if you switch in the Oshpiro of the Landorus, Dazzling Gleam, and carry both of them, your Landorus comes back in. I bring in the Incineroar, I bring in the Landorus again. Um, and you just get destroyed. Alright, well that's good. At least we sort of saw like the double Intimidate Whirlwind working, Togekiss putting in some work. Uh, yeah, I'll pull so I get another battle. Alrighty. What the? Number 54 in the ladder. Of course they're playing this core. Of course they are. Okay. Uh, okay, there's Trick Room Metapro on 2, and Stack Attacker. They have Torkoal plus a Venusaur, Tupple Lele, and a Dragapult. Mm, I don't really know how to deal with this. In general, Incident is just a good lead. It matches up really well against kind of everything uh, to an extent. Top of Lele is a bit of a problem. Could lead Lele, uh, Incineroar plus back. The problem is the Dragapult's just gonna one shot our Spectro. Would you lead Dragapult against me? Hmm. Not if you thought this was dark. 
In which case, I think you like the Lele. All right, we're gonna go go off a whim here. Uh, I think we have to bring the Landorus and Kiss. I guess. Yeah, that'd be a really awkward game. I don't have a good uh, plan. <laughs> I it's just more bringing four Pokemon. I think will do well. Uh, I do think they lead the Lele. I'm just hoping they don't lead the Pulp. But we'll see. The Porygon 2. <sighs> damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, okay. The body. We don't have a dark move either to deal with this. Okay, at least it only gets an attack boost. Uh, okay, so if they would know I can fake out. I'm gonna taunt. They might think I'm sashed, is the other thing, so they might double attack the Spectrio. How much is that going to do to a Toad Kiss there? Oh, I feel like they ally switch. Protecting's bad because the only thing they're going to attack with, unless they max the Pult. Um, oh, it could be ally switch on the Porygon too. Uh, I didn't really think about that. And... So if, if I'm them, I'm max phantasming the Spectrio and ally switching. No ally switch, okay. Yeah. So if we'd max, we would have died. If we'd just gone for an attack, we would have died. They are life orb, okay. Let's try attack. Makes sense. Oh my god, dude. Uh, I mean, we can flare bliss to get out of this, but I. That sucks. I really should, like, right now, I really should have a dark move, but we just don't. Uh, okay. So flare blitz here. You just Phantasm the uh, Spectria slot again. There's no reason not to. Yeah. Hmm. It's a good lead on their part. I just really had nothing for it. I guess I could have led uh, Tokyus. Oh uh, yeah, and if you don't know, Flare Blitz is one of the moves that can just unthaw you instantly. It's good damage on that B2. Let me guess, I get a Paralysis this time? Yeah, Citrus Berry. We are minus two defense too on this Incen. No Paralysis, good. Yeah. How fast are we? 101, come on! Uh, what do they have in the back? Uh, Torkoal, Venu, Stack Attacker, Tupple Lele, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're 139 speed. Uh, what's that? 70. We got a 108, uh, 208, which is slower than Dragapult still. Oh my god, dude. I was trying to think, like, if we airstream, are we faster than the Dragapult? But we're not. Which is just super depressing. Flare Blitz the P2 again. Uh, okay, let's try... 
Target kiss. Dragapult, max, max. Stoffel should KO if we crit it. And they can't ally switch. They could have Steel Spike. Like, they could be Phantom Force, Dragon Claw, or Breaking Swipe. I think it's Iron Tail it gets. Um, being a Life Orb set, you would assume they have Steel Spike. But, what can I do right now? Yes, sure. Okay. Okay, we're losing some. That is unfortunate. Okay. Wow, really? Okay. The fact that it lived that, that's a min roll, by the way. Like, after three life orb hits, the fact that it lived that is just gross. And it shakes off to one. Of course it does. Of course it does. I'm not salty. Ah. And I'm going to assume this Porygon 2 has um, Ice Beam. The odds of it living that are extremely low because of the uh, crit chance as well. Uh, I think we have to Rock Slide and Airstream. Alright, better off just Earthquake for damage. Yeah. I think they ally switch now if I'm them. Would you? Hmm. And again, if they have Ice Beam, it's all over. Which is why I think I should have Rock Slided for the flinch chance. Some tough games today. Some really, really tough games. And this is a very high-ranked opponent, but again, they're playing a very, like, meta-standard team, I want to say. Right, if I can use that phrase. Shit. Ah. Uh, God bless, dude. God bless. Yeah, maybe let's do the same thing again, right? I mean, I knew it had ally switch. Like, I knew it did. I just didn't really expect it. And you, uh, uh, try attack the, um, Landorus now. Unless it's like mega crits the P2. Yeah. Let's recover, okay. I mean, I'll take that over the alternative. Okay, I think another Earthquake kills. So is it Torkoal or Venus will be back? Or stack. Venusaur, okay. Uh, okay. If you're my opponent, you switch out the P2 for Torkoal and you sludge bomb the Tokus. Do you? Do you sludge bomb the Tokus? I just have to assume I live this. Please kill the P2. Please. Oh my god. Sorry, kiss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. <laughs> oh.
That was the whole game. That wasn't just a part of the game. That was the whole game. I can't remember if I've shown off Protect or not. Oh, they actually targeted the Landorus? Are you serious? Makes sense. They heat waved you. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Frenzy Plant is the one that you can't move again, right? Like for a turn. Yep. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't have any other options. I have to dazzle, I think. Hope it kills the Venusaur. She, oh my god, I have to air slash. <laughs> oh, the Cobra, okay. I have to hope they miss Heat Wave. Of course not. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Well. We were literally, we had a 90% chance to beat a guy that was ranked 54. 90% chance. Oh well. It is what it is. We lose a game to Confusion and we lose a game to, uh, yeah, 10% chance. Oh well, that is going to do us off for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we will be doing, oh, using a different team. So I hope you look forward to that. And I'll see you then. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.